When I think back to the birthing of Tri-County Pregnancy and Parenting Services, I just stand with amazement at what God did. It's in 1985, my new friend Nancy Ritchie and I started meeting together for prayer and we decided to set goals. We hadn't even discussed it and we came together and shared them and we both had put down that we wanted to do something to help young girls and women facing unplanned pregnancies. So with that, we started praying about what we could do. We started researching ways we could be involved, ways we could make a difference. I ended up going to training in Chicago for hoping to be a in-home, just in my own home, uh, volunteer counselor. But a high school girl went with me, and after each session, she'd be saying, Jan, we need this in our area. We have a, you know, such a great need here. We've got to start a crisis pregnancy center. Well, I was resistant, believe me. <laughs> and I, I just wanted to counsel the girls but God kept working on my heart and um, changing it so that I was willing to do what he was calling me to do. We've got the book that just told us step by step how to start a crisis pregnancy center. Little by little, God kept bringing people to share in that dream with us. We had an informational meeting January 22nd, 1987 and had representatives from 10 churches there who were eager to get involved. And from there, we just worked fervently to open by August 1st of that year, both the center and the thrift shop. I can still remember my first client who was 15 years old. She came in with her parents and her pastor, and her father was having such a hard time thinking that his little girl could carry a baby. But God worked a miracle in his heart and in each one of their hearts, and she not only gave life to her son, but she uh, parented as well. And 10 years later, at our anniversary banquet, she told her story and uh, told how she was involved in the pro-life movement in her church at that time. So I totally believe in the ministry of Tri-County because I've seen so many girls whose lives have been changed. They've come into the center thinking there's no way I can carry this baby. And yet they leave determined and having hope for the future knowing they can give life to that little one. <laughs>